I was scrolling through Twitter when I saw a tweet that caught my attention. Who's building an AI app that generates a beautiful custom image based on inspiring, motivational quotes? Would love this. Like many others, I've been fascinated with recent advancements in artificial intelligence, especially since the release of ChatGPT. And the challenge of building an AI app that could generate custom images based on quotes using nothing but Bubble and OpenAI's API was too much for me to resist. I had no idea how the app would turn out, but I decided to give it a shot and the results were surprising. I thought I'd start by showing you what the finished product looks like, and then we can dive into what's happening behind the scenes after. The actual front end interface is super simple, as you'll see. The product is called Artifact. I didn't come up with this name myself. Sticking with the theme of AI, I went to this website here called Namelix that will generate a brandable business name for you using artificial intelligence. So I'm going to choose a quote to paste in here. Let's start with this famous one from Isaac Newton. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. The next step is to choose a style for my image. So users can choose between six different options here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Gothic for this quote. Now this loader that you're seeing here, it looks a little silly, but again, sticking with the theme of AI, what I did was I went to chat GPT and asked it to generate an HTML loader for me and to try to make that loader look like someone who is thinking, and that's what it came up with. Not the prettiest, but that was on its first try and I was pretty blown away. Anyways, back to the app, you can see that for this quote from Isaac Newton, the images came out pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I've also added a text element here that shows the user which prompt was used to generate these images. We'll talk about how this prompt in particular is, is generated after, but you can see that it says, paint a person standing on the shoulders of a giant looking out into the distance in a gothic style. Let's try one more. I'm going to use this quote from George Eliot. It is never too late to be what you might have been. And let's choose an anime style this time. And as you can see, again, at least in my opinion, I think the images that came out here are pretty cool. The prompt that was used is paint a person standing in front of a door, looking back at their past self with a hopeful expression on their face in an anime style. Now, the app doesn't work perfectly. Sometimes it will get tripped up by certain quotes. If I just type in a bunch of gibberish into this input here and choose a random style, what you'll see is I've programmed the app to respond with, I don't know, in whatever style you've chosen. And that can lead to some pretty interesting images itself, as you can see here. But there's definitely room for improvement here in terms of handling situations where the AI doesn't know what prompt would be appropriate for the quote. So if we take a look at what's going on behind the scenes here, again, I used Bubble to build this entire thing. And the front end component of this was super simple and took no time at all. The core of this app really comes down to the two API calls that I was making to OpenAI. The first step was to make an API call to this completions endpoint. The purpose of this first API request was to receive a response that I could use as a prompt to generate the images. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm passing in the quote as input and asking this AI to generate a prompt that would be appropriate for the quote. It took some experimenting to get this right. But what I ended up going with here, as you can see, is the following. Imagine you're speaking to an artist. You want this artist to paint a picture that represents the following quote in some way. Here I append whatever quote the user entered inside of the input, and then follow that by, what would you tell the artist to paint? You can answer the question like this. Paint your answer. If you don't know how to answer this question, respond with, I don't know. This seems to work pretty well for most quotes. Step two is also simple. I just make another API request to this image generation endpoint from OpenAI. And all I'm doing here is including the prompt that I received in the first step and adding on whatever style the user chose for their artwork. I also specify the number of images that I want to receive back. And that's pretty much it. It took only three to four hours to build this. And going through this process was just another reminder of how crazy a time we're living in where all of this amazing technology is available at our fingertips. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. In addition to videos like this one, I host a podcast called User Stories where I interview leaders in the no-code space who are working on all sorts of interesting things and I post the full interviews to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.